Hey guys, I'm Sun. I'm a privacy and a security researcher and you're watching The Privacy Guides. The subject of today's episode is going to be how you can remove EXIF metadata from your image files. Now EXIF stands for Exchangeable Image File Format and what that means is when you're taking a picture with your smartphone, a lot of things are stored along with the content of the image. Uh, these things include your geolocation, uh, the device model uh, that you're using, and stuff like that. And that can actually leak your whereabouts and can be used against you. Uh, so it actually kind of invades our privacy. Now, for most people, that has a lot of convenience. If you're using an app such as iPhoto, if that's still what it's called on Mac, I don't use it. Uh, well, it allows you to see all of your pictures on a nice map and stuff like that. Uh, well, that's all great, but if you care about privacy, you may prefer disabling location services in your iPhone in the first place. That was one of the steps in my episode on how to set up iOS for privacy. That being said, perhaps such as I did, well, you were actually shooting pictures using geolocation a while back because you found that cool and you now may want to send a picture to a friend or upload it to a cloud service without leaking all of this metadata. So thankfully, there's a way of removing it. And by the way, that also applies when you do screenshots on your computer. When you do a screenshot on your computer, something such as uh, the color profile is stored in the EXIF metadata and that can actually reveal stuff such as the monitor you're using and things like that. So if you wanna upload something with re without revealing anything about yourself, you should always strip out EXIF metadata. So doing that is actually really simple. Uh, you need to start by installing Brew. So let's switch on my main computer here. Uh, I published a little uh, reference material guide uh, on my website, so I'll link that in the description. You, we, you, we for, blah. First, we need to install Homebrew, uh, and I don't, I'm don't. i not gonna go through all of these steps again because I've installed Homebrew on this computer. If you wanna see how to do that, you can follow the steps in how to sign encrypt and decrypt messages using PGP on Mac OS. I go through all of the steps of installing Homebrew here, so we're gonna skip this uh, first step here where we also disable telemetry and we're just gonna go and run this command here. So what that does is it uses Homebrew to install EXIF tool and that's a neat little tool. It's actually available on most Linux distributions uh, and that is used to remove EXIF metadata. And also we can use it to actually see uh, what's in a file. So let's do this here. I'll minimize this window or actually give me a second I'll just place this here. Okay. So this takes a little while. Uh, it shouldn't be too long. Sorry about that. Okay, it's done. Okay, so now uh, in the usage guide, as we can see here, we can use this command here and then just drag and drop a file onto the terminal and then pressing enter will reveal all of the metadata that's part of that file. So this file here, I shot with an iPhone when I was on vacation uh, or actually on the way to a business meeting. That's a long story. Maybe I'll <laughs> describe that one once. But as we can see here, we can see that that image was shot with an iPhone 5S using the back camera and we have the GPS coordinates here. Uh, so uh, using Google Maps, uh, and as you can see here, when I open Google Maps, whoops, when we, when I open Google Maps, it opens in a Google container. If you haven't seen my episode on how to set up Firefox for privacy, I'll link it in the description, but essentially what that does is whatever I do inside of the Google container, that uses a neat little Firefox extension uh, called, whoops, it's called multi-account containers. Well, that will you know make it so that cookies and all kinds of trackers that Google tries to instantiate in our browsers will be only available within that container so it doesn't spread on whatever else I'm doing. So if I just go about pasting this here, there you go, okay? So uh, that picture here, just uh, to see it you know, bigger, well, that was a nice little carousel. Uh, that is actually in France on the Mediterranean, oh, I cannot say that word in English, on the coastline. And if I go into uh, you know, street view here, well, uh, we're gonna get there, give me a second, wrong side, boom. So that is how much information is actually stored in a picture. So I highly recommend disabling location services, uh, but you know, there's a way of actually removing this information. So let's, let's do this. Uh, if we go back to my little uh, guide here, 
you can run this command here. It's the same, but it's using this little uh, dash all uh, argument. And if we put our file here and press enter, what happens here is it's gonna save the original file you know, in a file with underscore original, and then the file that we dragged on the terminal, well, that one will no longer have uh, exif, uh, you know, metadata in it. So we can run this again and drag and drop this here, enter. And as you can see, all of this stuff, including the geolocation, the device uh, I was using and all this stuff is gone. So uh, yeah, if you guys are uploading files to the web, perhaps you're drag and dropping one, uh, you know, on GitHub, perhaps you're uploading one on, you know, a new image service, perhaps you're sharing it with someone you don't know on Reddit. Well, a lot of times, you know, EXIF metadata is still kept if the original file is not modified by the service, you know, to which you're uploading a file. Well, this data is, you know, visible by that person. So perhaps you're sending a picture you taken in your home and the person on the other hand, well, now that person knows exactly where you live. So that's pretty scary. So that is a great way of removing that metadata. Now, uh, I also wanted to mention, I did a little bit of research this morning and when location services is enabled on an iPhone and when uh, photos, uh, not photos, I think it's the camera app has access to your geolocation while using the app. Well, if you send a picture that you shot and then you select that picture in iMessage uh, and iMessage is you know set up by default uh, with, with standard settings, well, the person on the other end will actually be able to see all of this information as well. So uh, that's not the case in Signal. Thankfully, the Signal app on iOS will actually strip out uh, EXIF metadata to preserve our privacy. Um, okay, before letting you go, um, I have a few questions for you. I have some uh, privacy guides episodes that I've been super anxious to put out. One of them is on how to set up uh, your own proxy server, actually uh, SOX5 over SSH proxy server, uh, and another on how to set up a strong swan VPN server. I believe that, uh, you know, as I mentioned many times on this channel, that uh, sovereignty is very important, you know? And another thing that's very important is decentralizing things on the internet. So when everybody starts using a VPN provider, for instance, and, you know, we don't really know if we can trust them, uh, well, that becomes a honeypot. So sometimes, depending on the use case, having your own VPN and deciding in which country you want to host it and terminate it, well, that's actually a really great sovereign and private way of doing things. Now, obviously, someone with a subpoena could go to that provider in that country and then install some kind of a backdoor on the server and start logging your stuff. Well, if you're worried about that level of surveillance, my gut feeling is Tor is a better alternative. And even then it's not enough. If you're into that level of sensitive, you know, use cases, well, you should be thinking about OPSEC and InfoSec at a whole other level and dedicating devices specifically to, uh, you know, some tasks that you have. That might be the subject of future episodes, but for the time being, uh, what, what I wanna ask is, in order to teach, you know, viewers how to set up, you know, proxies uh, through SSH, how to set up StrongSwan, well, I'll have to start talking about how to set up Linux servers, uh, how to use command line to do that in a headless way. And that's kind of more advanced. So I wanted to know, like, what do you think? Is this too advanced for this channel? Are you guys into this kind of content? I think that technology liter uh, literacy is essential if we want to reclaim our privacy. If we always have to rely on third parties uh, or on others, well, obviously it it's not as private, so it, it's not as good for our privacy. So perhaps uh, you know if if you guys are interested in learning this, well, I'll be glad to put together a series uh, of episodes on you know how to set up Linux, how to connect to a, a server, how to install stuff on the server, how to set up a proxy, how to set up a strong swan uh, server. So anyways, let me know in the comments if you're into that. And yeah, that's all I have for you today. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.